When it comes to homelessness, the VPD's top cop says our city is a destination. The weather is much milder here. There's a lot of supports here in Vancouver, and we are a magnet for the entire country. We see the great migration west, and many times they're bringing social issues with them. Global News has learned the suspect accused of smashing several windows with a brick, causing almost $70,000 in damage to this TD bank last month, is a convicted killer from Alberta. 48-year-old Curtis George McCallum's criminal history dates back to 1992 in Edmonton, where in 2009 he was sentenced to nine years in prison for manslaughter and aggravated assault in the Christmas Eve 2006 killing of his aunt and the stabbing of her common-law husband. It is very uh, terrifying I, for you know everyone in the neighborhood to know that individuals such as this are out and about. Clothing store owner Shelley Clausen says she and her staff are already battling broken windows and chasing down suspects to retrieve stolen items. Street disorder, she says, got 10 times worse during the pandemic and is hitting everyone's doorstep. What was mostly concentrated on East Hastings is now infiltrated big portions of downtown. It's not just a policing issue. This is a mental health crisis, and it's just not being dealt with uh, at any level. Clausen believes society has failed the most vulnerable, and more intervention is needed. We also have to have a social safety net set up to stop people from getting to this level of, of poverty and marginalization and disparity, and that's where we failed. <laughs> While on statutory release from prison in 2013, McCallum was wanted for being at large. According to the Edmonton Sun, he turned himself in days later. McCallum was charged with break and enter and assaulting a woman in 2015, then accused of assaulting another woman with a weapon a year later, before he was convicted of assault with a weapon in West Kelowna in 2019. McCallum is now out of custody and charged with mischief over five grand in Vancouver. Kristen Robinson, Global News.